It's time to break down how Apple's courtroom win can impact you. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Apple may have won its patent case against Samsung and Court late Friday, but the battle between the two biggest smartphone makers is not over yet. The jury in San Jose, California found Samsung products infringed on Apple's patents, like rounded edges and pinch-to-zoom interface. And they said Samsung should pay more than a billion dollars in damages. Next up, the judge has to decide if she wants to change the award amount Samsung is expected to appeal, and Apple will likely ask for an injunction to ban the selling of Samsung products that violate its patents. The hearing to discuss all that will be September 20th. The jury found 25 smartphones and tablets violated patents. But you know what wasn't on the list? The Galaxy S3, which is Samsung's flagship smartphone right now. And the new Galaxy Note 10.1 tablet seems to also be in the clear. Consumers won't feel too much of an effect if the hottest products are still in stores. But if Samsung has to pay those damages, that's a billion dollars it won't be spending on innovation. Or Samsung could raise its prices over time to help pay off that penalty fee. If there's no appeal, this victory will give Apple more ammunition to go after other companies. And the marketplace will have to invest more in being different. But you know who's totally in the clear? Microsoft's Windows phones. Although they aren't as popular, it does prove you can still have something very different. And in other Samsung news, the next version of its oversized smartphone, the Galaxy Note 2, is expected to be revealed Wednesday. But a Korean newspaper is leaking the specs, saying it will have a 5.5-inch display, a quad-core processor, and it'll run Jelly Bean. Amazon announced that more items are being sent with Prime free two-day shipping than with free Super Saver shipping. Now, a Prime subscription isn't really free. It costs $80 a year and includes two-day shipping. Super Saver shipping doesn't charge you for shipping when the order is over $25. Fresh reports are out about the 7-inch iPad. It's confirming that it will be called the iPad Mini, as many of us have been calling it already, and that it will launch in October. Now, we've been hearing October as a launch from several reports, but the latest report comes from All Things Deep. The tech leader of recording handwritten notes has been the live scribe pen, but now the Evernote app is getting in the game with a smart notebook. The idea is that you write in the notebook, take a photo of the page with the Evernote app, and it can scan your handwriting and make the text searchable. Now, what makes this paper special is that it's printed with tiny dotted lines that help the app scan the document correctly. That's your Tech News Roundup for today. You can find more details about today's stories at the blog, cnet.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey. Thank you.